Hello wrestling fans and welcome to historic Fenway Park. We are here for wrestling all stars of New England brought to you by Bell Time Club and Dante Luna. My name is Drew Kazoo and I am joined at this time by Joey Business and the incomparable Tony Marks. Tony Marks, that's right. I am here. I am back and we are ready for Fenway Park and some wonderful wrestling. Well, we're excited to have you here, Mr. Marks. I can't say the same for Mr. Business here, but we are getting ready for more fatal four-way action here. That's because you don't speak for me, because your horn doesn't work that way. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I, as well we as the We don't know how his horn works, to be perfectly honest. I don't. Thank you, Mr. Marks. I appreciate your uh, scholastic input on that, but, like, we've got some wrestling to call. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got Sethrin here. The vampire Sethrin making his way ringside. Here we see the architect of anarchy, Evan Six. That's one big boy right there, let me tell you. He's ready to knock some heads. Definitely don't want to get in a bar fight with Mr. Six, nor the vampire Sethrin. Who's coming next through the curtain but Chris Escobar. I like this guy a lot. As with this man goes by pure talent, Chris Escobar, as we see, look at this, jarring with the fans. You've got to be a brave man to dress in white. I'm sure that he had something wonderful to say to that. Lucky fan. Nasty attitude on this man, Chris Escobar, but definitely, definitely as talented as his name would describe. But I like an attitude, Kazoo. You Thought can't the come in there and the paint the pictures. There. <laughs> no, it's Mike <laughs> Rasha. <laughs> that would be something else. Mike Rasha, the mind eraser now, making his way ringside. Not, uh, not exactly playing with a full deck, this guy. Well, he doesn't need to. I guess it's not. They call him the mind eraser. So, Mr. Business, I've got to ask you: Is the fact that uh, that Mike Grassa is uh, is let's just say a little bit out of his mind? Is that going to play to his advantage in this fatal four-way? I actually think it could, because it's going to throw all competitors off their game. But uh, you know, <laughs> off his mind, he's off the mark. He's got one arrow in his quiver. quiver if that, uh, there's so much you can say about this. So let's see how it works. Your talent is clearly not impressed with this display from Mike. No, there's a lot you of stain there. He says, let's wrestle. Come on. We don't need any of this Here stuff. Here we go. Call our elbow tie-up. Look at that. See, and uh, he got what he wanted. Gets, gets uh, Mind Eraser right back into the corner. Ref giving him a full count. Well, surprised. We see a clean break here by uh, Pure Talent, Chris Escobar. I'm actually I would surprised myself. Oh, he's talking to the ref. He's got something to say. What's it? Referee Some Rob Tuttle here. Somewhat back in the ring. Out of character ring here for see. Chris Escobar. When you got a character who takes himself, or a competitor who takes himself off his game the way uh, Grassa does, it, it's got to be disconcerting to you know what what you're grappling here. That Everything works. goes out the window. That works for competitors as well as competitors here, as we see Chris Escobar snapping the arm of Mike Grassa over his shoulder. Believe me, I've been corrected by better, and I've been corrected by worse, and you're somewhere in between, and <laughs> I don't mind that. <laughs> True words may have never been spoken. Okay, and here we nice go. takedown here. Oh. There it is. What is that? Slap your head. Yes. Just complete lack of uh, respect for Mike Rasha there. Tell me a little bit about that, Tony Marks. So you see a takedown like that, pure talent, Chris has takes man. What do we call that? What, what, what is he telling? What is he telling Mike Grasso when he does that? He's saying, you are in my ring. You are not ready to be in my ring, and I'm about to show you the big mistake you made. And you see it right there. Ooh. Yeah, I call that padding the cell. Him out and yeah, he's gonna take his. He's gonna take the cover here. Oh. Two only count. A, only a two count here. Yeah, a little bit of disrespect. I underestimated his opponent, so to speak. I don't want to be corrected again. But you know, it was a late night. All right, now, Mr. Business, tell me as we see this big elbow. Now, wait a minute, Escobar going for the cover. One, One two. We've got Evan Six ringside. We've got Evan Six as, oh, excuse me, as well as the Vampire Sethrin, both fresh men, haven't seen any action thus far, and we see Chris Escobar expending a lot of energy here. Is that going to play into this contest at all? Oh, absolutely. Well, well, well here we go. You, here here we go, Evan, Evan six. six. A whole lot of man oh, he's pumped getting up. in there with uh, Mike Grassa. See, oh. couldn't even handle that. that. Now, that's how you take away him. That is exactly how you treat somebody of Mike Grass's stature. I mean, you don't come in there and give him any reverence. You just beat him down, Ooh. send him back to the pokey, call it a day. The architect of anarchy is what they call him. So I guess this is a matter of, uh, let's see, brawn versus insanity? Is that what we're going to call I this? I guess so, and it's a beautiful blueprint. But you got to wonder at the punishment that Grass is taking now is the fact that he's so crazy and he probably doesn't even realize he's probably enjoying this right now. Yeah, I mean, he's he's literally getting picked apart. But, I mean, look, you could see the little smirk on his face. He's he's enjoying himself out there. He's uh, 
He's sick. I mean, that's why they call him the mind eraser. It's got to do something to oh, you when you're in there with a man who doesn't mind getting his ass kicked. enough of this. He's coming in. There we go, the vampire. Long history, him and Evan Six. Throwing Long Evan Six off the ropes. They, uh, coming back. Oh, what a nice kick. In, um, Takes him down into the cover. One. New Mexico in a small federation, NZW. NZW? Yeah, and that's where they made their No mind. zone wrestling? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um... I was going to say, that was back in, what is that, 2002, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Now we got Escobar in here coming back. Pure talent facing, defacing the vampire. That's got to suck. Oh, look at this. Missing the drop kick now. Well, he had it telegraphed, absolutely. And here we go. Slither. Uh, oh, beautiful drop kick. Pure talent. One, two. Nope, not enough. Not enough. But you gotta like it. He went for the shot there. He took the chance, oh, maybe a little Russia early. Once back in, and he gets kicked in the face for it. Stole the uh, tag. Now I asked one of the fans ringside if Mike Rush is supposed to be confined to a mental institution. How could he be a wrestler? And they said he has a one-day pass. Well, it's pretty tricky to get that one-day pass. From a personal experience, from a friend, uh, I can let you know that that is a pretty tricky thing to get, especially to come down to Fenway Park and uh, involve yourself in some. Uh, Local wrestler. Well, I'll tell you, you've got to be pretty well respected as, as a professional wrestler, as a competitor, to be given that one-day pass. As we see him, nobody home there from the top rope now, Grasa. Here we go, Escobar into the cover. One. Nope, not enough. Not enough. I asked another young fan to describe uh, the mind eraser for me, and they described him as a few patties short of a double cheeseburger. Beautiful Look at that. guillotine leg drop. Form. With the corkscrew. It was beautiful. Undenied. With the scent on it. Look at this. There we go. Nice. Oh. Oh. No Nobody home for the second row. Moonsault, though. Slytherin wa Sethrin wants to come in. A lot of action here in this fatal four-way. Yeah, absolutely. It's not often you see a second rope moonsault, but that was the chance he took. And Mind Eraser, what is he going for here? I don't think any one of us know. That's what's oh, going to make it interesting. Seth yep. wants back in. He will tag himself in, and he... Absolutely, and I'm noticing a lot. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. With authority now. One, two. I'm, no I'm noticing a lot of frustration in this match, a lot of blind tags, and there's a lot of frustration. Do you think the frustration is going to play a, a factor here as we get into the second oh. half of this contest? You see, I think what's going on here is that people thought Mike here Ross was Double sunset. Double One, two. Nope, not enough. Broken not up. Enough. Who would have, who would have taken the watch. pinfall? We'll never know. I guess it wouldn't have mattered as it would have meant a victory nonetheless for pure talent Chris Escobar. Absolutely. I think what I was saying to you or earlier was that um, th it's got to get into these people's heads that Mike Ross has taken a lot more punishment than they gave. Oh, wow, beautiful. It, it should also get into the heads that he may be in, uh, either enjoying this punishment or he doesn't even know what's going on. The man's crazy. I mean, I'm from the look on his face right there, it doesn't look like he's enjoying it anymore. I think he might have been at one point, and now he's just more or less... Vampire Sethrin, not, not exactly a, a, a symbol of sanity himself. Escobar going back up top. Maybe a better luck this time. Escobar up top. Oh, the top. vampire oh. said, oh, look at this. Uh, hung nope. up there too. Oh! oh. oh. Right on the top rope. Might be the last place on earth that you want to land. That's He landed right on the pure talent. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. I, I, I bet Sethrin you he wishes that Mike Gracia could erase that memory from his mind as they're going up to the second rope here. Look at this. Are we going to see a superplex? I think we might be getting something more of akin to oh, a double is, team. This does not look good for... Not at all. Oh, wait a minute. Excuse wait a people. minute. More people. Uh-oh. Wow. Here comes Evan Six this now. Is beautiful. Stacked tower oh. power ball. My goodness. Unbelievable. Good He's going go. for the cover. One. One two. Oh. I oh. thought that was it, folks. Lazy cover. That was so close. Fans here watching in disbelief now. They couldn't believe the strength there of... Evan Six. As we see now, once again, the face of Mind Eraser, Mike Grassa. Oh, big four. Definitely not playing with a full deck here. Look at. Face got oh, rearranged there. One. And Evan Six. Down but not out. Oh, oh huge. Insecurity. Huge insecurity. Setting him Grassa up. going off the ropes. His six countering. Oh, oh look at that. Huge Larry. It knocked the cameraman and off the, the vampire. Game. Boom. Drags him down to earth. And here we go. Up, oh, pure talent. Going off. Nope. Kicks him to the gut. Not enough. Only two. Only two. That was quite shocking. Well, it's 
going to have to take a little bit more to put them down, I guess. So here we go, Pure Talent. Going up for the suplex. Nope, no reverse. Grasso reverses. What's he going for? Oh! oh beautiful. Here we go. One, two, three, and that's it, folks. I mean, you think you'd call that the mind freeze, but that was three. You can't believe it. Look at him. I can't believe it. That was, I thought that was two. Wow. He's got the one, two, three, the mind eraser no, there. Referee Rob Tuttle here. He, he can't believe it either. Not the mind eraser, goes. Mike Grasso coming away with the victory. Look at him. He loves it. He loves it. He's out of here. Looking there for the rest of that the deck. Wow. All right. Well, for, for Tony Marks and Joey Business, Drew Kazoo for Wrestling All-Stars of New England.